Hi everyone, I am at a inspection for a condo that I'm under contract with for a buyer and I just wanted to share a couple differences because this condo is a unique situation. Um, one, because it's a condo, so when you buy condos it is different than buying homes because there's a condo association and the condo association is in charge of the exterior, but then also this property happens to be owned by Fannie Mae, so it was a foreclosure. So there's also different nuances that come along with that. So I just wanted to share just a couple things that way if you're looking to buy a condo or if you think foreclosures may be an option for you, um, you kind of know what to look out for. Um, and so I hope this helps. This is the this is the condo that we're looking into. It's an end unit. Um, the inspector's inside right now. And one of the key differences in getting an inspection for a condo is the exterior parts, such as the roof and the siding, are the responsibility of the condo association. So if anything is found during the inspection for that, you actually request it from the condo association rather than the seller. And then also a difference in terms of foreclosures is you can't, um, you're going to be buying a property as is if it's a foreclosure because the seller is gone and the Fannie Mae and you know the bank that owns it are not highly likely to be doing repairs because they want it off their hands. So that's just something to be aware of when you're negotiating. Uh, repairs are not likely to be something that you can negotiate when you're doing a foreclosure. And then the big things to look out for when you're buying a condo though is you really want to do research on the condo association and how they maintain the property and what fees are associated. So when you go under contract or even before you go under contract for a condo, you want to look at the financials and you want to look at the bylaws and any other governing documents. And this is going to tell you what the fees are, um, what they're in charge of, who's in charge of maintaining the property, and this really helps you um, get an idea of, okay, Okay, you're buying this condo and someone else is going to take care of it but how well are they going to do are they going to upkeep it properly because you're going to be paying a monthly fee and you want to make sure that it's going to be used properly and it's not being used um basically not being mismanaged and i'm sure you guys if if you've driven by condo uh complexes before you can tell the difference between a property that's well maintained and one that's not and that's also often a product of the condo association so a key thing to see in the capital res in the financials is to make sure they're capital reserves. So that's the money that they're going to use to do roofs and other exterior projects. And then in terms of closing costs, you would need to check to see what payments are due. So this condo behind me, um, they require two months of monthly fees that are non-refundable when you move in. So at closing, that's about $668 um, that you need to account for that you're not going to get back. So that's just something to ask and to be aware of. And it's always good to have your agent go ahead and talk to the condo association as soon as possible. And then another thing that's unique for a condo is an estoppel. So an estoppel is a fancy word of basically checking to make sure that the seller was in good standing when they left. Um, so it basically it's pulled through the condo association and it does have a fee um, with a foreclosure you're likely gonna pay it but if you are buying it from a seller you can check the contract and maybe negotiate them paying for it and the estoppel is basically going to let you know um, whether the seller was in good standing and they owe anything because you don't want to pay their past due payments um, what assessments there are and just kind of gives you a heads up about how this unit or how um, what fees are gonna be uh, you should expect ahead um, so that's a, a big difference between a house and a condo is that estoppel um, and I think that's just the highlights that I wanted to go over. Obviously there's a lot more that you should look into, but um, those are some of the highlights and definitely talk to your agent because they'll know a lot more of the differences between condos and houses and then also foreclosures and houses. And, and one more thing, foreclosures do have a lot more fees because the bank or the uh, or Fannie Mae is not gonna cover as much of the closing costs. So that's just something to be aware of and talk to the title company ahead of time to try and get an estimate as soon as possible. So that way you can be prepared. So thanks for joining and if you have any questions, feel free to comment below.